In a previous video, I showed you how to make this cute Be Mine Snap Tap design. Now, up till now, we've only been doing a 4x4 four four hoop since that's the most common for everybody. But what happens when you want to make multiple of these designs and not have to do just one at a time? This time, I'm going to show you how to create multiple Snap Tab designs in one frame so that you can use it um, to make multiple. We have a open right now the Be Mine Snap Tap design. You'll see over here we have these objects, placement, design, um, the Be Mine, the text, and so forth. One thing I want to make sure you do is make sure each of these colors are different. We're going to end up doing a color sort and it'll be important for each individual object to have a different color. And if you look here, if I click this, it says wreath green this one is black and this one also says wreath green so we want to change that so let's go up here to our placement and click the color and it does not matter what color you change it to just pick a different color uh, let's go up here and pick a pink so it stands out a little bit more um, and you can pick any color you want does not matter alright so now each of these is a different color and that's important to do so let's go ahead and save this make sure we don't lose it go ahead and open a new frame new design and go up here to the folders for the property and we're going to change the hoop size to 5 by 7 which is approximately the 130 by 180 and you can also even um, change the rotation of this so that it fits the screen better go ahead and zoom down and now we have a nice frame here with which to work so let's go back over to our snap tab design and we're going to do a command or control A select all those objects and then command or control C now go back over here to our new design command or control V now you see it's it's quite a large snap tab so I'm not sure if we'll be able to fit three in here but we're going to go ahead and try it so go ahead and select the rotation and let's try and rotate this. What's important to note is that we want to make sure our snap tab stays straight. And sometimes I've found that it gets a little bit jagged. Um, and I haven't found a master solution to that yet. Um, maybe somebody knows and they can comment. This is okay. This works a little bit. So then if you want to grab one of these objects and it pull it over. It's a little tricky because you have to make sure your cursor is actually on part of the design um, to pull it off. So there we got it about as far over. Remember we want to need room around the sewing area here. Now what I like to do is while it's already moved into our new position I want to select it to the clipboard again. Again control or command A Control C or Command C. That way it's in the position we've already had and we don't have to keep rotating it. Now do a Control V, Command V. Pull this guy over here. I don't know that we're going to be able to get three in this frame, but let's try. Rotate this guy. Um, and you can also, there's actually a rotation up here. Let me show that to you in a minute. There's another option for rotation. And you want to keep probably at least a half an inch in between um, your design to make sure that you have room to cut it out. I've seen a few stitch outs where they were really close and didn't seem to have too much room. We could wiggle with this a little bit. See how this is still a little bit jagged here. But for right now, I'm just going to leave it that way. Drag it over. And I can tell you we're not going to be able to fit third in here. Our snap tab design is just a little too large. Um, you have two choices. You could actually shrink it down and make it a little bit smaller or you could just stick with just two designs. Um, let's try it. See what happens when we do a third control paste and as you can see it's just not going to make it. So that's okay. We won't do a third one. So just delete that guy. <laughs> Now you'll see over here you have doubled your objects. 
So what we're going to do, we have all those as a different color recall. We're going to go up here to Utility and Color Sort. And it's going to give you a dialog message and says it's reduced it by five color changes. Well, that makes sense since we had 10 objects and they were all different colors. If you go to New View, now you'll see your new view. And you'll notice that when you go to the new view, it automatically recentered this for you in the hoop. Um, I don't know why it does that, but it does it. So it's not necessarily a bad thing. And if you go over here and you expand on that object, you'll see each of your steps. And then I always like to do one more step um, and test the stitch out, do the stitch simulator. That's this little button here. Um, because I've had a few times where I thought I had the colors separated and for whatever reason the objects didn't. It's pretty clear if we look along our stitch simulator line that this one did exactly what we expected because we don't see a repetition of any of the colors. But you can go ahead and stitch it out anyway to see that it's doing your placement line first and then it's doing the internal bean for our design there and so forth. And you can speed it up by dragging this little button here and it'll speed up your stitching. And this is all you have to do while you're in the new view then you go to file and save stitch file as and we're going to say 5 by 7 I just stick with the convention that most of the designers already use so you know which frame it is 5 by 7 and if you have a multi-needle machine or one of the newer machines that supports even larger hoops, then you could go back in here. And remember, we still have the snap tab design in our clipboard. You could go up to the preferences and change it to 200 by 300. Apply. Okay. And there you go. And now you have room to go ahead and um, add another design. And you actually probably could play around with this and get maybe one or two more. Sometimes you can rotate them in different ways to fit them in more in the frame. Um, and oh, I was going to show you how to do the rotation up here. You see this right here? This also does a rotation. So you don't have to drag it um, like I was doing. This will do a, a rotation for you as well. I've just kind of gotten into the habit of using the little manual rotation um, because like I said sometimes you might want to twist them around and fit them in the frame in a different manner so that you can fit more in here in fact if we go back let's get rid of that guy undo 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 okay now we see we have just our one design. We go ahead and let's move this guy all the way up here. I think we might be able to squeeze a lot more in this frame. Let's go ahead and rotate him. Let's see there. Let's add another one. Rotate him. There we go. Now we probably can fit quite a few in this frame the way it's laid out this way. Let's do it again. Again, trying to approximately have at least a half an inch in between. Let's do this again. Let's see, let's rotate this guy. We might be able to fit one more in. Oh, he's not quite going to be there. Um, let's go back. And it's easier for me just to go back and reselect, have the object highlighted to move it. It seems to be a little easier than trying to select it and move it later. Uh, let's try this. All right. Okay, this guy over here. No. All right, that fits. Now oh, let's see if we can squeeze one more in here. Maybe. 
Let's see. Oh, not quite. Actually, we could probably squeeze it in if we moved all these around. But for right now, there we go. We got one, two, three, four, five in here. And do you remember how we're going to sort this? Go to Utility, Color Sort. And now it's made 20 color changes because we have five objects here. Go to New View. And see how, again how it centered it in the frame. And then go to Stitch Simulator. And you can see that all of our objects are separated. And I'm actually going to go ahead and save this because I may end up test stitching this out and giving somebody a chance to stitch it out for me. So I'm going to do this and um, I'm just going to put multi and just a couple of to 8 by 12. 8 by 12. Yeah. And there you have it. Simple to do and you can find any of the designs that you have out there already and make multiple groupings of them. Um, it's pretty fun. Thanks for watching.